Greetings fellow Whovians and welcome to Timey Wimey Review where today I review a episode which is just has that affection of love and a sense of belonging and to be honest just celebrate how Doctor Who can be absolutely anything it wants to be and that is Vincent and the Doctor originally broadcast on BBC One in June 2010. Just in case you don't know the plot, the 11th Doctor and Amy travel back to 1890 to meet the one and only Vincent van Gogh, as they've noticed that something is quite out of place in one of his paintings. This episode is pretty much the Tony Curran show, because he just knocks it out of the park as Vincent van Gogh. I'm not a uh, an expert on van Gogh, um, obviously I know of his work and I know that he was deemed as quite mad or, you know, obviously suffered with, clearly suffered with depression and mental illness. Uh, but what you see on screen is a very, very complex person. And, I mean, it must have been such an emotional roller coaster because it's just, from what I saw on screen, you know, he can just flip on a dime. You know, one minute he is very happy, one minute he is very, very sad, um, knowing that people will just leave him, because that's how it all happens. And, you know, in, in, a, in an ideal world, everyone wants that sense of belonging. And to be a person who's just been ridiculed, his his paintings, his passion has been deemed as absolute rubbish um, back in the 1890s, you know, it's it's a you know, it's a terrible, terrible pill to swallow, and and just the just the journey that you have for these 45, 50 minutes with uh, with Tony as uh, Van Gogh is just breathtaking. So much that Matt and Karen can take a bit of a back seat in this episode, and not to say that they phoned it in at all or anything like that. Uh, they had some really good moments, you know, um, but I, I think. If anything, it was a really good ensemble cast, especially with Bill Nye, uncredited as the um, art gallery expert. But it, it, it just felt like, like I said, an ensemble cast with Tony at the top. And for this episode, rightfully so. If you didn't know, Vincent and the Doctor was written by Richard Curtis, who is pretty much the king of British rom-coms, you know, such as Four Weddings and a Funeral and Love Actually. And what I liked was, especially with the, the character of Van Gogh, they, they could have easily played this for laughs. They could have made him a bit sort of quirky and kooky and, you know, just made it, yeah, just a little bit cheesy, which... In one sense, I could have got away with it, but in another sense, I'm glad that they didn't. I'm glad they went for, you know, they didn't go for the the the, the comedy route for that because that would have been a totally wrong direction to have gone through. And um, they probably would have got away with it then, but I think it would have made this episode very much outdated if they kind of went into that route. So I'm glad that Richard went in the more serious route and you know showed showed the truth and i think it's the episode sort of benefits more for it and what i also like really is when we do have these historical adventures in doctor who most of the figures are quite you know they, they know their self-worth they know that they've got quite a big status you know for example in modern era we've had charles dickens William Shakespeare, Churchill definitely know who he was. And when we come to Vincent being very much the total opposite, he was, you know, the butt of the joke by many. He was very much undervalued and underappreciated. And um, it's something that we're not really seen in, in Doctor Who before. So to, to sort of put that spin on it as well, it, it just it just really enhanced the story and and if anything have make that sort of historical episodes a bit more refreshing the fact that the monster the crefeus is a bit well on the surface redundant it's kind of like hey we've got a monster we've got a historical figure we've got the doctor let's have a bit of an adventure it's again no if, if you really think about it 
it's a very subtle integral part to the episode you know it's a monster that that's invisible that only vincent can see he's fighting a monster that only he can see and i think with this show being you know this episode being 12 years old now i think you know i think people are only just sort of twigging onto that you know i've just read like just before uh recording this read some of the uh, critical reviews when it first came out and there's like yeah it's a good episode but the monster was a bit redundant a bit meh and no I, I i totally disagree i think the the reason why that monster was what it was is all part of this episode originally i was going to give this episode a seven out of ten uh, but when i was preparing my notes and just thinking about it some more um i'm going to give Vincent and the Doctor, a TARDIS rating of 8 out of 10. It's just a great episode. Definitely one of the strongest from Season 5 of Doctor Who. And to be honest, Season 5 was a great um, opening season for, for Matt Smith, really. And, and again, for Stephen Moffat. But from script to screen, this episode just knocks it out of the park. Um, obviously, the acting was fantastic. The uh, direction is is brilliant and the cinematography is gorgeous really you know when when you see like images of amy surrounded with sunflowers uh the 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 scene where um the doctor takes vincent to the art gallery and bill nye is just really just selling how much he appreciated van gogh and just uh, you know turning the camera around and just seeing uh tony Curran's eyes and you know and and uh, yeah, and also I forgot the scene, the scene where Amy, Doctor and Vincent are all lying on the grass and looking up in the sky and having that surreal Van Gogh sort of, you know, seeing what he sees. It's it's a really good episode. Um, it's a very underrated episode, I, I say. Um, you know, this is 12 years old and I remember watching it first time round and saying, yep, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, but and I knew that we had something special in our hands but no never really fully appreciating it and i think now i think more people are appreciating it and i think in another 12 years time i think it's definitely going to go down as one of the greatest episodes of doctor who so if you haven't watched it in a while do check it out you you are definitely not going to be disappointed it's a great piece of um british tv and yeah it's it's a solid doctor who episode let me know in the comments below your thoughts to Vincent and the Doctor. Where do you rate this? Uh, do you rate it really highly or do you think it is a very underrated episode? Next time on Timey Wine Review, as promised recently, it will be my top five fifth Doctor stories. Until then, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. Please like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel and hit the cloister bell for more notifications. And to quote what the good doctor once said, the way I see it, every life is a pile of good things and bad things. The good things don't always soften the bad things, but vice versa, the bad things don't necessarily spoil the good things and make them unimportant.